Absolutely, and thanks so much for having me. Um, so we did receive the first FDA emergency use authorization of its kind, which is a fully at-home COVID-19 test sample collection kit that can be used with multiple authorized labs. Um, it's very easy for an individual at home to go through an eligibility screener online, have a kit shipped to you overnight, and then it is a simple nasal swab where you just collect in the bottom part of your nostrils and then ship it back in saline overnight to one of our labs. So it's really quite easy um, for consumers to use at home, especially as we see the second wave of cases start to spike. And the FDA has said even today that the prioritization of at-home testing solutions is even more important than ever before. So you can actually do the nasal swab yourself, Julia. And I'm asking because there are still some questions about whether some of these tests may be not showing as accurate results because of user error, even as the professionals administer it. It's really hard to, to get up there and you know get that swab. Right, and this is a really important point. So this is a nasal swab that has been confirmed to be accurate only collecting in the base of your nostril, what's called the anterior nares. It's different than the nasal pharyngeal swab, which is the deep swab that many healthcare providers are still using. And it is something that the FDA, um, even before our emergency use authorization, they had been using data from United Health Group's recent study to be able to show that self-sampling with a shorter nasal swab was just as accurate as the deeper swab collected by a healthcare professional. So that has been shown. Now, of course, um, there can be inadequate sampling uh, with any of these tests, and there can be a, a point in the virus's life cycle um, where you could get a false negative. And so that is still the case, but overall, the accuracy of sampling has shown to be as accurate with self-collection versus in a healthcare provider setting. What, what do you see the likely demand for these tests uh, as being? Uh, in particular, uh, are we past the point where everyone was going to need to have been tested before they go back out in the open again uh, and that we're kind of reopening almost regardless? Is that going to put a limit on the, on the level of demand you're likely to see? Look, I think testing actually has now become even more important um, because when we were going through the kind of national shelter in place state by state, people were not moving about as freely, weren't coming into contact with um, what's almost guaranteed coronavirus, coronavirus in some form or fashion in your daily life. Um, of course, protection measures are key, masks, hand washing, et cetera. But even more important is being able to get access to a test easily quickly and get results quickly so that as people are re-entering and going back to work and going back to their daily lives, they have that to be able to get them information about their exposure as quickly as possible. It's also interesting, Julia, that you're not part of a Quest or a LabCart or, or an Abbott or, you know, a major public company. What was the approval process like from the FDA? And, and was that challenging because you run a smaller independent company? Right. Um, Everly Well is 100 employees based in Austin, Texas. We have been actually teaching people how to self-collect um, uh, lab testing samples for the last five years, you know, offer over 30 different home tests. I think the difference here, though, is we were wading into um, what is not typically our path in a global pandemic uh, to work in partnership with the FDA in getting authorization. Um, and so it was a actually a really exciting process. We knew that we were working in partnership to lead the way for creating a template for at-home tests. And that's what actually the FDA has now published. Um, and so it's really not just about Everly Well, it's our ability to be innovative, be quick, to partner with these regulators regulatory agencies that are moving as fast as they can um, and create a mission that I think is bigger than just us and really allows at-home testing to be a big part of the COVID-19 response and not just a small piece for one company.